Hey guys, Alistair from GCI Trade Tech. Today we have a Ram DT1500 a 2020 model and we've also got our biggest build to date, a 2500 Ram. Uh, it's a DS, it's a 2018. But we've got um, Dave here from Enerdrive. Uh, we're going to be featuring our electrical packages that we build in partnership with Enerdrive. Um, show you a few really cool features and the way they tie together with the GCI Traytech trays and canopies. It's so awesome. So let's run you through the, the way the few things work. So this is it. This is the best panel we've made to date, the Touring Package. It has absolutely everything you could ever want, but Let's, we've got uh, Dave here from Enerdrive uh, to run us through basically all the ins and outs of the system uh, and I guess why it works so well together with GCI TradeTech. How are you going? Very well, very well. Mate, this is exciting. Guys, this is exciting. Uh, Enerdrive are very proud of the relationship that they have with GCI TradeTech and this here is testament to that relationship. It was very much a team effort. It was an effort combining our design team and the GCI TradeTech design team and putting heads together uh, from two very different walks of life, we've been able to create this very exciting new package. So let's go through it. Initially, you'll notice some very common products on this build. We run the DC to DC charger, the Enerdrive 40 Plus, the 2000 watt Enerdrive inverter, a 60 amp battery charger. Along with this, of course, no system's truly complete without a quality monitoring system and you can't go past the Cymarine monitoring system here. Now, in a nutshell, they're loose individual products. What makes this unique is the fact that Enerdrive pre-assemble all of this and check it, a genuine QC process, locally made here in Brisbane and quality checked. And that's how it's delivered to GCI TradeTech. So from an installation perspective, this is how it's received, ready to go. And I think, Alastair, from your point of view, from a production point of view, that's got to have merit, right? It is amazing. The quality is second to none. We literally get the panel, we put it in, we plug it, we run the solar through the glands in the roof, we run the hot wire from the starter. It is as easy as it can be. It's, it works so well and you know that, yes, we have AutoSpark work here at GCI TradeTech, but it's wired up at Enerdrive. It is the best quality that you're going to get, so it works so well. Um, yeah, wouldn't change it at all. Let's break it down guys, starting with the DC to DC charger, this item here is tried and tested with Enerdrive, uh, very well received in the market today. And this particular unit is capable of receiving up to 800 watts of solar input. In this particular case, uh, you'll commonly fit up to a 180 watt panel on the roof. However, thanks to the red Anderson plug down here, you can also connect additional loose folding solar panels to this unit as well. And also, of course, you're feeding your vehicle input to this unit. So what happens? Well, when you're traveling, you're driving, you're charging off your vehicle. When you're stationary, you're effectively charging from solar. That is an automatic switch. You don't need to get involved. It works for you seamlessly. Moving on, the Enerdrive inverter. This is a 2000 watt inverter. Why may you ask we put a 2000 watt inverter in the back of a canopy? Well, I'll tell you why, it's demand. Nowadays, more than ever before, people expect to run a lot of stuff from a system in the back of a four-wheel drive like this. And in this case, we can run the likes of up to 2000 watt induction cooktops, coffee pod machines, and so forth. Really, the sky's the limit, up to 2000 watts, thanks to this unit. But this isn't just any inverter. We also, on the head of these units, mount another level of protection, that's the RCD. In my opinion, no AC producing device is complete without that level of protection. Personal safety has to be paramount. You'll notice up here, it appears like we're missing a component. These units are supplied with a switch in that position. However, they are designed to be able to remove that. Now we'll show you a little later on on the other side where that switch has been relocated. Now one of the great features about the Enerdrive 2000 watt inverter is the transfer switch feature. You'll notice here we have an outlet. Yes, you can plug into that. However, in these builds, we've integrated an additional two double GPO outlets. These units have built into them an AC transfer feature. That is a means for us to hardwire to these outlets and also hardwire an AC inlet. A lot of people ask us, why do you need an AC charger 
on a four wheel drive. Well, I'll tell you, if you're in a situation where you're not likely to drive a lot while at camp, and if you do carry a generator, it's excellent backup. Effectively, when you're relying on solar, you're only as good as the weather, so the AC charger makes for an excellent backup. No power system is complete without a quality battery monitoring system, and we've certainly got you covered with Symarine. This is the home screen, and you can clearly see here at any time what is left in your battery via percentage. So if your battery was half full, it would show 50% state of charge. Now as your battery increases or decreases in charge, this value will also increase and decrease to reflect that value. Likewise, at any point, you can see what the time is. We can flick down here and we can clearly see more of a specific breakdown. Overall, at the moment, we're delivering around 2.5-ish amps per hour. Why is that the case? Well, our charging system is currently delivering around eight and a half to 10 amps, and our loads are hovering around 5.7 amps. So we can break down our system to see how much we're putting in versus how much we're taking out. A quality power system is not complete without a quality battery, and you can't go past Enerdrive's BTEC lithium range. GCI Traytech offer a range of systems starting from 125 amps, optionable up to this 200 amp battery, and they even have available the 300 amp BTEC lithium battery. All right, so on this side of the canopy, we have the living space as the kitchen as, as such. So starting off with our infill panel. So in this here, we have to set the fridge so far over so that when you can open the fridge the whole way, you can still pull the drawers out. So if you just open that to 90 and shove that all the way against that gas strut, it's never gonna work. You're gonna hate life when you're gonna uh, pull those shelves out for cleaning. So we maximize the space here. We have the inverter switch. So basically you can hold this guy down and that powers up the AC power throughout the whole canopy. So now our GPO is alive and we've also got the USBs down the bottom. So twin USB outlets down the bottom um, and the double GPO. So it works really well. It makes the, the best use of the space possible. Um, so obviously touched on it before with a 130 litre upright uh, fridge here. Um, we put a, a stainless uh, front panel in it so I can open that up again. Um, there's so much room in there, it's, it's amazing. Uh, moving through, uh, pantry. Uh, pull that pantry, I won't pull that one out now. Well, actually, why not? Um, so it comes out from this side here, and again, it's an asymmetrical design, so that means you make the most of all the space available. Um, so obviously, you can put everything, anything you ever wanted in there. Tucks that in. Up the top, we've got the, the AC, or it's a DC uh, pie oven as such. Um, so there's a few different brands we can use there. And then below this, we have uh, pull-out storage. So dual purpose, you can either pull it out as standard, but then you can also press these two buttons here and the whole front panel comes down. I've got the drop kitchen. Um, this isn't 100% complete yet, but there is a gas option and also an induction option. So if it's gas, we have on this side here, again, not 100% finished, gas storage, fully certified. Um, we've got two, uh, one two kilo, or a single two kilo gas bottle um, down here. And then there's another one on the other side of the storage as a backup. And then finally, we have the toolbox lighting as well. So it's a standard option. Well, it's an option on the Ram builds, um, or the, any American truck build. So you can pull out your toolbox. It's on 16 inch slides, which is 400 millimeters of slide. And if I jump around this side, there's a light inbuilt. So that's powering off your uh, BTEC battery inside the canopy. So it's just an absolute awesome little option there. So that slides all the way in and it's as watertight as you're going to get. All right, so we've spoken a lot about the 1500 RAM, but here, this is the two and a half RAM. So it's a DS model. Uh, it's got a very similar inner drive electrical package in it. But one thing we haven't really touched on yet is the modularity of the whole GCI Traytech setup. So basically everything you see here is bolt in. So let's start with the canopy. All this comes out. So basically it's fully bolted. There's nothing welded to the inside. So yes, it's not a five minute job, but you can literally pull out every single drawer. Um, so for this one, for example, you take out the bolts in here first and then you take the, uh, the housing out. Same with the tray down. So from this extrusion, it's the uh, tie down rail, which is integrated into the tray. Here down, all bolts in. If you have a too uh, steep of a departure angle and you wreck a taillight bucket, call us up, we'll send you a new one. It's four bolts that hold that whole thing in. Um, same with the, the toolboxes. So we've got the light in here as well. Six bolts that hold that in. 
But if we just quickly come up to the electrical panel, so we've taken one of the panels off so you can see how big that 60 amp charger is. That's why it's not standard. The standard ones are 40 amp, which is much shorter. Uh, you can also see the CMS cable. So all the GPOs you're seeing in both these builds, they're using CMS cable. So it's plug and play, it's supplied from Enerdrive. There's no uh, hard wiring as such. Um, but as we've seen previously, very similar setup. Um, we've got the Cymarine set up a little bit differently on this one. It's down to the customer's uh, requests. All right, guys, we've got Chris here from Aussie Destinations Unknown. He is a Traytech customer. We're currently building an awesome train canopy package for his Silverado um, 2500. It's going to be epic. Um, so, yeah, Chris, run us through, I guess, Enerdrive, a um, bit about you and how you fit into the Traytech Enerdrive partnership. Sure. We, um, we do a lot of caravanning touring around Australia and uh, having an epic setup is crucial for us, mate. So, yep. obviously, awesome canopy. So many canopies on the market. You know, we needed to pick something that was just yeah, design, styling, just everything about it. Attention to detail, epic. So we chose you guys, and then obviously we found out that you guys work with Enerdrive. Yep. That's all we use. That's all we will ever use. And yep. the whole package just comes together amazing. So we're super excited, mate. Super awesome. Excited. Yep. So yeah, we're just about finished up the design with ADU's tray canopy. Uh, the, the tray's in the system, getting manufactured now. We're yes. doing the last little tweaks on the canopy itself. Um, but yeah, it's literally a few weeks away, so it's going to be an epic build and big tour up. Big tour up. Cannot wait. Right, I see you've got some epic builds in the in the factory that you're working on now that are going to be pretty much the same. We do, mate. We've got a Ram 1500 and a 2500. They're epic. Um, going to be similar builds to the Silverado, but the Silverado's going to be one step above it. So let's go check it out. Let's it's going to be awesome. It so it's a pull-out kitchen. Coffee machine number one. Can't go past that, can you? You've got to have one as soon as you wake up, otherwise you're Ab useless. Absolutely. Then obviously microwave. Yep, so we've got the microwave on this model where on the 1500 round we had the travel buddy or the, the, the 12 volt oven as such. So um, 900 watt this one is and obviously it's running off the 2000 watt inverter, so no problems whatsoever. Um, we also have another 12 volt oven as well, so the best of both worlds. The toaster and the toasting machine, obviously you can't use them there. So what you do, you pull them out and then you put them either up here or if you just grab that one there for me Chris pull out that one and then you plug in to your power point up here so you can plug that in uh, similarly with the 1500 ram we've got the inverter switch up here so I can press and hold that and powers up and now I can literally grab that plug it in turn it on and then I'm powering up so I've got my light on my uh, on my little Breville, Breville toasting machine ready guys so we'll just turn that one off so don't forget about it um, same with the fridge uh, we're running a Dometic 110 on this one uh, the other one's actually Bushman 130 um, so a little bit of a different setup um, but yeah it's a, a very good fridge so that comes out like that all right guys so that's basically a wrap from the GCI Traytech side of things we're gonna have full build videos on both these cars and uh, Dave thanks mate thanks for everything you've done with the designs we literally couldn't do it without you and your team no worries mate cheers <laughs>